Here are 10 tips to using Unreal Engine 4 to optimize your workflow and help deepen your knowledge of the editor. So let's get started. All right, tip number one, using your buffer visualizations. In your viewport, you can click on the Lit tab and change it to several different settings. Lit, unlit, wireframe, detail lighting, lighting only. Uh, these are great ways just to kind of debug your scene to see what's happening. Um, additionally, you can go through and cycle your player collision and visibility collision, which is great if you're running into something you have no idea what it is. Um, and then you can also go through and check like your lighting density, your light map density. Um, so in the event that you have something that has some artifacts, great place to start with that. Uh, and then uh, second to not least, we've got the ability to go in and actually check your mesh LODs, find out when things are switching in and out. And finally, your buffer visualization. Very, very important, great to use. All right, tip number two, those sneaky little roll-ups. So inside the editor, um, you have on each of these little panels, you got these little tiny triangles. Um, and a lot of times they hide some very key and some awesome settings um, that you might not otherwise know. Um, so this can go on your objects in the details panel, your world settings. So my recommendation is if you see one of those little guys, go ahead and click it and start getting familiar with what's hidden in there. Uh, you might find some very, very useful uh, tools and settings in there. Tip number three, showing redirectors. So in Unreal Engine, uh, by default, this is turned off. So under your filters, other filters show redirectors. Um, now, what is a redirector? Whenever you move an asset um, in Unreal, sometimes it doesn't actually move the actual asset, but instead creates what is called a redirector. Um, if you don't have show redirectors on, you're not gonna see this little icon. So to fix it, simply right click, fix up, and your asset will be good to go. All right, tip number four, using the foliage tool for clutter. So in this example, um, I've simply just clicked the foliage um, kind of tab up here and I've added just some meshes to it. Now I can use the same exact same tool. So I'll use my paint density, uh, but I'll also check to be able to uh, paint on static meshes, which is what you see in the viewport. To add a little variation, simply click your random pitch angle, change it to 45. And now you've got some beautiful clutter scattered all across your screen. Uh, so a real fun way of using the foliage tool for this. All right, tip number five, Learn tab. Now this is actually not necessarily in Unreal Engine, but on the Unreal Launcher. So there is a Learn tab, which has a bunch of these little things, but in the bottom right is a little cloud icon. If you click that, it'll actually download a project for you. Uh, and secondly, in the marketplace, Epic's released a bunch of these uh, kind of games that they're creating that have, uh, literally it's a game from start to finish that you can go in, dissect, unpack, and see how they do things. So definitely check out that tab. All right, tip number six, checking your stats. So in the viewport again, that little carrot, if you go under stats, you can show and hide all different kinds. Now you probably don't need all of them. Um, I'm just gonna show you a few of them that, that I use quite often. And if you simply click the little checkbox, um, once you close this little roll up, you actually see the stats in your viewport. Uh, so this is great, this is awesome. This, this gives you numbers behind the scenes to tell you what's happening. CPUs, draw calls, frame times, you name it. All right, tip number seven, using the GPU stats through, by pressing control, shift, and comma, you'll get this little pop-up window. Um, this is great for debugging what's happening visually in your scene. Um, now granted, this is just on the, the GPU, but um, this will give you a good idea about, you know, what are your costly items? So definitely use that control, shift, comma. All right, tip number eight, disable plugins. Uh, this is really more just disable plugins before you package. Um, if you go in, you can click the built-in tab, which will pull up everything. Uh, just do a quick browse, find out what you have enabled. Um, like in this case, I'm probably not releasing this on mobile. So if I just do a quick search for iOS, I could just go in and just dis disable those plugins and make my package build a little bit lighter. All right, moving on to tip number nine, copying and sending projects. Ugh, all you need is the config, content, and your U project. That's it, nothing more. Tip number 10, our last one, using a quad viewport. So in the viewport, uh, you can go in and you can select the different, um, uh, different views that you want, or you can click the little box in the upper right, and that will change so you can have your four viewports. Now in settings, you can disable the orthographic linking, but this is a way to work in quad view. Bonus tip, r.force LOD zero. In your viewport, you may notice that some of your meshes that have LODs look a little fragmented. That's because they're in their highest LOD. So to force it, if you type uh, using the tilde key r.force LOD space zero, you will force all of your meshes into their lowest LOD. So that concludes our video on 10 tips to using Unreal Engine 4. I hope that helped, hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, I appreciate your guys' support. Um, if you have suggestions, drop them in the comments. I'll see what I can do to make it happen. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.